What is up everybody? It's Kyla here and I'm so excited that you're back here on my channel. Welcome. If you're new, I'm so excited to have you. And today, this is going to be for all my funnel builders, my funnel hackers out there who want to do cool stuff within their ClickFunnels account and with their pages but just aren't sure what to use. So this is definitely more advanced. We're gonna be going into some coding here. So if that's something you're looking for, then just keep watching. So today we're gonna to be learning, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this. So this is a picture of one of the pages I built for my clients. And I'm gonna show you how to pull your image and your text out to the very edge of the page. and so there's a seamless transition between the top and the bottom. This literally took me hours to figure out. I probably spent like five to six hours trying to figure this out. So it's a really cool feature and I hope to save you guys a lot of time by creating this video for you. So I'm here on my ClickFunnels account. I am just on a blank page. I'm on a sales page. I just chose a template. And uh, what I tend to do nowadays is just scratch everything within the template and work from scratch because I find I do better that way. But I've got two sections here. I'm going to be working with this bottom section right here. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a two column row to this section. So the image is going to go here on the right. Let's wait as it loads. There we go. So we'll add the image there, and then on this side, we'll go ahead and add our headline, and we'll add a little sub-headline, and obviously you can customize this to whatever you need. I'm also going to add a button here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background onto this section. So I'm going to go here, I'm just going to select this back black background, jeez, I can't even speak, black background that I've chosen, boom, and it shows up, and we can't really see this text, so I'm going to change that font to white instead of dark, so let's change that there, and let's change this one to white as well, just so we can see it. All right, now, if any of you have this problem, I had this problem for the longest time where I would set a background on a section and it wouldn't fill it all the way and I would get like so discouraged, I couldn't figure out how to make it fill. I thought it was a problem with the actual background image. It's not. So here's another like tip within a tip for you. Go here to the image position and click fill 100% width and boom, it fixes it. I was, it took me forever to figure that out, but there's a quick uh, little tip for you there. So let's go ahead and choose our image. So I'm just gonna select one of these images that I have. And there we go. So that image is pretty big, but I wanna be able to get this image to fill this entire section and this text to scoot over a little bit. To, so to help me out, I'm gonna just move this over already. I'm gonna leave the button in the center, but that's kind of what we're working with here. So I'm gonna go up to my custom CSS. This is where we get into the coding stuff, and I'm gonna paste, oh, whoops, wrong thing. I'm gonna go grab my code down here, and I can link that code in the bottom below for you. Here we go. Hold up the wrong document. So let me copy my code here and I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. So right now the, the image and the row aren't right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into my row. I'm going to come down here to the little pound sign and copy the CSS ID selector. So I'm going to copy that go over here into my custom CSS and right here is where I'm going to paste that. And I'm going to leave that container inner there. And a lot of this, you also kind of have to just adjust and depending on what your image is and what you're working with, fix it there. Now, nothing's happening right now and that's all right. Next, we're going to go 
um, into the image settings, click on the pound sign again, and grab the CSS ID selector for the image. And then come back here, replace that. So now you can see if I've done that, it makes the image really big. So that's actually probably, and it kind of moves the settings over a little bit, but I'm gonna probably adjust it and go maybe 600 pixels. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. Now I wanna go in the same place and move it over a little bit. So now, what I'm also gonna wanna do is go here into this section. This is our fidgeting part, and I'm gonna kind of move this and bottom so it's all at zero but you can still see I've got my space here I've got space on these sides so it's not quite where we want it right now so I want you to be able to get back to that row I'm also in the decrease so now you can see that's that's more of what we want Let's see if it did the same for us on the bottom. Oh, I can't quite see the bottom. Let me clone this and move it down below so I can see. There we go. All right, so perfect. So you can see now we've created like that seamless look on both sides, but this text does it still doesn't look quite right. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna click on settings. I'm just kind of mess with this top margin here for a little bit and move it down so it's a little bit more in the center. I'm okay with that space there. Now if I wanted um, there to be less space, I could try and make this image a little bit smaller. So let's see what happens if I make it like 400 pixels. Okay, so that's still pretty small. Let me, that's probably a little, little too small let's go and and you'll if you've worked with click funnels for a long time if you're an avid funnel builder you know a lot of it is just oh, you know a lot of it is just adjusting and figuring it out from there okay so we fixed that but you can see here on the side I've still got some space so let me see if I can adjust that so that's gonna be I believe this one I can never remember let's see what is this and you're kind of I'm just kind of watching over here on the side to see what happens oh there we go getting closer there we go okay so now I save it and we can preview it to make sure it looks like we want it to. So I go ahead, I preview it, it opens it up in a new tab. So we're just gonna wait for it to look for us. Okay, and there we go. Now it shows up. You can see the image and the background and the text fill the whole page, which is super cool. I probably would go back and move this button over to the left a little bit, but that's a great lesson. Like no matter what you're doing, whether you're working on the editing page, always preview it and make sure it's looking the way you want it to look. So I was like, oh, I didn't really like that position of the button. So I can go over and what the, how do I, I can't remember how I move it over. Hold on one sec, let's figure this out. So I can actually make it fill the width and make the button bigger, but there's got to be a way I can move it over. Button align. There we go. Left. It doesn't matter because I made it fill the width. There we go. So that's how you create the picture and the text full width in a section in ClickFunnels. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I would love to know if this video helped you, how many hours it possibly saved you. Let me know in the comments down below. I love your feedback, I love your questions, and would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, just keep funnel building, keep doing your thing. Uh, feel free to connect because it's awesome. Building funnels is a great opportunity and it's so fun. I geek 
out over it. So yes, without further ado, like, subscribe, share with anyone that you may know that this helps. And I will see you guys on the next video. Okay, see you later.